Good morning, everybody. It is barely morning right now, so I'm like sneaking it in there that it's still morning. Um, I just wanted to pop on here and do a get ready with me because I'm off again today from the weekend, and it has been a it's been a busy morning already. Um, I got up, I took the girls to the babysitters, and so that they can get some time in there playing with their friends. We are supposed to be supposedly getting hit with like this monster winter storm, um, possibly tomorrow, but probably Thursday and Friday, if I guess right. And so I'm like, in the event that the rest of the week, they don't get to go to the babysitters, at least they get to go today and tomorrow. So, um, that freed up my schedule to get a few things done. So I went and got my hair cut for like the first time in almost a year and a half. It's seriously been almost a year and a half. I've just been trimming it myself, which let me tell you, it gets the job done, but it is nothing like going and sitting in a salon and letting someone else wash your hair for you. It's my favorite. So anyway, um, so yeah, I went and got my hair cut and then I went to the grocery store and then I went and got gas. I ran to the post office cause I had to mail out some Avon products to somebody. And then I came back home and put my groceries away, clean out my fridge pumped because I'm nursing so you got to pump on a schedule um thank the good lord I have a good supply this time around I didn't have a good supply last time I had to supplement with formula which there's absolutely nothing wrong with that fed is best regardless of what you are told fed is best um but thank god this time around we haven't had to spend money on formula we actually stockpiled a little bit um in the beginning before i even had this baby and it's looking like i'm going to end up donating um some of the formula so that in itself um honestly is a blessing because formula is expensive and uh it, it was a hard go of it the first time around so thank god I'm able to pump and have enough um, milk for this baby and I can bless somebody else's life by donating the formula. So sorry, didn't mean to get emotional there. Um, it just kind of snuck up on me. Anyway, so today I'm going to show you guys uh, what I use and what I'm going to use today. So I'm going to try a new product out so you guys are going to be there with me. And let's get cracking. Um, first things first, this morning, I in the mornings, typically, I will not actually use a cleanser on my face. I will rinse my face off with like lukewarm water. And that's it. I don't use a cleanser anymore just because it was not helping with my breakouts, which you can see I've got a couple little spots going on this time uh, because my hormones are trying to get back to normal after having a baby. And yeah, it's fun. Um, but again, hormonal breakouts, that's it. So what do I use in the mornings? I use, I always use my, a new clinical collagen booster eye duo. I cannot say enough about this stuff. You guys, it has turned my eyes, um, from like, like, especially under here, um, 20 years old when I was 20, like you could already see fine lines starting and it was like major black circles and, um, like crepey tissue paper textured skin. Um, so I had to start using an eye cream and this is the one that I choose to use. It has worked miracles, um, as far as getting stuff done. So yeah, that's my eye cream. I use it every single morning and every single night. Then, um, I'm using, I, I started using this two weeks ago. It is the Anew Power Serum. I love this stuff. Um, it is really good. It has, I've already felt an improvement in the texture overall of my skin. Um, I really like it. Like my skin is very smooth. I mean, obviously I've got these breakout spots, but um, my skin is very smooth. Like these forehead wrinkles are already less visible. Um, it makes my skin feel very hydrated and just very overall nice. It's not tight at all. Um, it just feels nourished, like really nourished. So I use this in the morning and it goes on really well under moisturizer and makeup. So, um, I was using my Vicuchiol serum underneath my, uh, daily moisturizer and it just wasn't, the two together were a little bit too, um, 
not oily, but just, I mean, it gave that texture and I don't like that under makeup. So I switched it out. I'm only using my Bakuchi All Serum at night underneath my moisturizer and I'm using the A New Power Serum during the day. So it is actually working out really well. Today I used my A New Ultimate Supreme Moisturizing Cream um, just because I know I'm going to be inside for most of the day. I'm not working today. 95% of the time I'm going to go for this because I work outside. So the Hydrofusion um, Broad Spectrum SPF Sunscreen Lotion, that is what I grab every single day. So on my working days, I'm going to take the Power Duo, the Collagen Booster Eye Duo, and I'm going to use the a new power serum and then I'm gonna finish out with the Hydrofusion SPF. So that's my go-to every single day. It takes like two minutes. I put the serum on and I brush my teeth or I go pack my kids lunches and call it good. Now, what do I typically use before I put on makeup? Usually I use the pharmacy brand VFX Pro Camera Ready Perfecting Makeup Primer. Um, I really like this. It is a silicone based primer. Um, it feel, well, I say silicone based. Is it silicone? Yeah, silicone based primer. Um, I really like silicone primers because they, they just go on, they create a blank canvas um, and it's super smooth. And I really do like that one. No matter what kind of makeup I'm using, it sits, the makeup sits really well on that. So if you know a pharmacy person, find your VFX Pro Camera Ready Primer. Um, I also have their strobing moisturizing primer. Eesh, it depends. I usually won't wear makeup with that. I'll just use it on its own. Um, but today I'm going to try out the new vitamin C illuminating priming moisturizer. And this is a primer, like it is, it's marketed as a primer. So here's what it looks like. What are the directions on this thing to use? Wear alone or under makeup. Prime and glow. This revitalizing primer instantly brightens and hydrates the complexion for a healthy, radiant look. Moisturizing formula blurs imperfections, creating the perfect canvas for makeup application or a beautiful finish for bare skin. So again, use it with or without makeup. Um, there are certain primers that I don't use with me. Like I won't wear makeup. Um, mainly just because... I may not like that more luminous finish, but I want to, I want to wear it on its own. Okay. So I just took the little, the little sticky foil off of here and I'm just going to, sorry, I'm new to this guys. I've never made a get ready with me video. So this is all new to me. All right. We're going to use that much and we're going to see, I may need more. I don't know. So it's definitely not. So okay. So it has a very slight odor aroma. Odor to me just, it's bad connotation. It means something smells and it's not pleasant, but I don't know if that's actually the truth. And yes, I will put this on my eyes because I always use primer on my eyes, any eye makeup because I have hooded lids and, oh, this smells good. It smells a little citrusy. So if you're looking for a pick me up in the morning, have at it. Okay, so definitely not silicone based. Um, can I tell that it's illuminating? Yeah, I'd say it's slightly illuminating. Kind of freshens up the look of your face. Makes you look, I'm not gonna say sunkissed. If I had tanner on, I'd look sunkissed, but I don't. So I haven't worn tanner in like a year. But yeah, I like it, I like it. Um, it definitely feels like a moisturizer. Smells good, a little bit citrusy, but very light fragrance. Um, it absorbs very quickly. And I just did my entire face with a pea sized amount. So a little bit goes a long way. So far, so good. All right, now I'm gonna go in. I have concealer that I really like. It's from Pharmacy as well. Um, I am not a pharmacy rep, obviously. I am an Avon rep, but I do like some pharmacy stuff. So I'm gonna go in, and I hardly ever wear concealer, but I'm doing it today. Uh, this is the shade 01. It's like their peach concealer. So I was, uh, slightly thrown off and surprised when I got this because in the catalog that they have, it does not look like it's that orangey, peachy toned. Um, but it was a blessing in disguise because it definitely helped out with my black circles, dark, dark circles. Um, but on that note, I also don't use it very much now because a, 
I don't want to take the time to pack concealer in and be uh, my dark circles have greatly diminished um, since using this collagen booster um, eye duo. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, my dark circles are much, 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 blood, much better. Um, they have gone down so much. So, I mean, like, it used to be, it used, it used to look real rough. And that was before I had kids. Like, we're talking... I'm a college student going on four hours of sleep every night because I got up and worked at 3.45 in the morning and went to bed at midnight. Like, didn't party, didn't have any good excuse for being tired like that, except for the fact that I just worked my butt off and and got no sleep. <laughs> so, I mean, that's, that's just me. But, um, yeah, I typically do not wear concealer unless it's like a special occasion, but I'm throwing some on today. And then my next one, I'm going to use Magic's Tint Tint and Moisturizer as my foundation in the shade Light. So that is what I'm going after right now. I love the shade Light because um, it's dark enough that like it looks natural on me and I can use this shade in the winter. Um, and then I use a slightly darker shade in the summer. Is it probably one shade too dark for me? Yeah, but I'm not, I'm not going to be paranoid about it. I'm really not because different light makes you look different ways. So typically I would use a foundation brush, like a kabuki brush or some other kind. I think I got too much. Okay. I think I got way too much. Usually I use a pea size amount, um, but clearly I wasn't paying attention. And this is when I need my foundation brush because it can help. <laughs> anyway, um, <clears throat> usually... I will use a foundation brush with this just because I like the finish better. But today we're going in with our hands. We're just gonna, we're gonna go in with our hands. And if we need some more, I have more on my finger because I got more than I normally use. We're just gonna go with it. Cause again, I've never done a get ready with me. Guys, I am I am getting out of my comfort zone for you. Those of you that watch this, I am totally getting out of my comfort zone for you because growth Growth is good. Growth is very good. And I am trying to grow as a person. I am trying to grow my business. And if this is what it takes, then a little bit of pain is worth it. Um, but yeah, I will typically use a foundation brush when I am putting on this tinted moisturizer. Obviously, you don't have to. It is a tinted moisturizer. Um, it absorbs very nicely. It just goes into the skin and gives you very good moisturizing properties without uh, sitting on your face and getting all cakey like some uh, foundations do. And it also just, um, it nourishes your skin. So if you're looking for maximum coverage, this is not, this is not your thing. Um, this does not provide maximum coverage, but if you're looking for uh, light to medium coverage, I'll say light to medium coverage. Um, then this is, this is your thing. So pea sized amount, good to go. And you can put it down here too, but I'm wearing, I'm wearing a turtleneck sweater. I mean, it's not necessary. So that's that. Um, I did get too much, so I'm just putting it on a napkin right now. So you can see, like I put it on and it's in the skin. It's looking natural. It's looking good. Like there's no foundation line or anything. Um, and the good thing is through the whole day, my skin has moisturizer on it. So this does not have an SPF in it. That's the only drawback to this. I wish it had an SPF. Avon, you need to make SPF into your tinted moisturizer. Like even if it's just a, a separate line, you need to make one with SPF for those of us that work outside. Just saying. Um, all right. So I put my magic tint on in the shade light and it's natural finish. I really like this stuff. It is very nice. Then I'm going to go in with my Magic's Dust finishing powder. Now, uh, while we're on this, I'm going to tell you guys, there is change coming. Um, so there are a couple of new aspects to the Magic Magic's line. And I'm just taking a powder brush and I seriously just go into the lid here. Or I go into the canister and tap the lid and I just buff it all over the place 
The point of me doing this is it's a finishing powder that just sets everything and helps with oil absorption. So that's my main reason for doing this. Now, if you are gonna do like highlighter and blush and all that stuff, you can wait until the end and you can put all this on over it. Um, I'm just gonna throw a tad bit of blush on over it and I'm really not, I'm not concerned. So that's just the order I go in. I set my tendon moisturizer with the powder. Um, now back to changes coming. For right now, you can order it as Magic's Dust. Um, there is another, I'll show you guys real quick while it's on my mind. There's another product that is not going to say Magic's. Um, it's going to say Match. So what is happening? Over time, there are new products being introduced under the term Match. And currently existing products will be changed by I think like by the next two months the only thing that will stay as magics is the magics tent everything else will be remarketed as match so um okay so here we go case in point magics prime will no longer be called magics prime it's going to be called match prime okay so it's going to be it's the same thing it's just being remarketed so don't freak out also there is going to be match dust. So why am I pointing this out? Because right now match dust is just a translucent, um, colorless finishing powder. Okay. So you're still going to have for a while, you're still going to have magic's dust and you will have match dust. Match Dust does not have any shade. Magic's Dust will still come in two shades, okay? And I was using the shade Translucent Fair Light. There is a medium deep. I'm just using Fair Light. So, until... Sorry, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get my facts straight when I tell you this. Until Campaign 12. So, we're finishing out Campaign 4 right now. So, that means there's eight more campaigns. Each campaign is two weeks. So eight campaigns, that's a month. Yeah. So another month from now, um, did I do that math right? Anyway, by the time you get to campaign 12, that is when it's going to change. Magic's Dust will no longer exist as Magic's Dust. It will be match. So you're going to have match dust finishing powder and you will have match set finishing powder as of campaign 12. The match dust is the magic's dust and the match set is the translucent with no color. So I'm sorry that's confusing. I'm sorry. I'm trying to give you a heads up when stuff finish, stuff changes in the campaign. It's the same stuff. They're adding new stuff. They're remarketing. That's what it is. So by the end of campaign 12, you will only have magic's tint. That's the only magic's line item that's going to stay magics everything else is going to say match so just figure out if you're using match dust or match set that's all i can tell you because that's all i've got to go off of i'm sorry i don't understand why it's making things complicated but that's that's just the way it's going for my blush i'm going to use pharmacy makeup's peach bite face palette this has a bronzer a highlighter and a blush okay Sorry, you can see everything in my living room. Um, anyway, why do you use another company's blush? Why not? Because I like it. I mean, that's bottom line here. Because I like it. I like the peach color. Um, it's very light and it's got good wear. And the bronzer and the highlighter, like, it's just a good palette. So again, if you have a pharmacy rep, find them and tell them that's what you want. Okay, now on to the hard part for me. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm, do I want? Yes, I do. Okay, I'm going to go in with the Glimmer Shadow. I love this shade. It is Pink Topaz. I'm not a pink person, but I really like this. So I'm going to go in here and I'm just going to put a little bit on my eyelid. It's a very good nude color with a little bit of shimmer in it. Um, and then basically I just put this on here. Now, 
what is the point of this? Because it eventually disappears on my eyelids since I have hooded eyelids. The point is it's putting something on my eyelid that the eyeliner can grab onto and just stay there. This is, it almost acts as an eye primer for me. I really like it. And it adds just a very subtle hint of shimmer. They have tons of colors in this glimmer shadow and I really like it. Like it's just a good, good little eyeshadow with a doe fit applicator. So you don't even need a brush for it. You just do what I just did. So yeah, you can see there's just a little bit of glitter shimmer in there. Good stuff right there. Good affordable eyeshadow. I love it. Then I'm going to go in with the FMG Glimmer Diamond Eyeliner in the shade Olive. So this is what I'm going to use. Okay, don't be, don't be alarmed. I'm going to show you something. All right, so Avon True Color. Glimmer Sticks Diamonds, all right? Avon True Color Glimmer Sticks Diamonds. All right, same, same eyeliner. Different labeling, different marketing. Same eyeliner, same thing. They're bringing back the... Uh, lip liners and I think campaign seven, I think. So it's just marketing. It's marketing guys. It's marketing. Same stuff, just marketing. So I'm going to go in and with hooded eyelids, honestly, I will nine times out of 10, I will pick a nude, um, eyeshadow if I wear eyeshadow at all. And then I will pick a colored eyeliner because honestly, that's the only part of my eyelid you're going to see is where the eyeliner is. Like my eyelids just disappear. They do. So I choose lifestyle hack. If you have hooded eyelids like me, I will choose a more bold eyeliner and I will apply that instead of using eyeshadow because if I use eyeshadow, sometimes it creases or you just can't see it. And uh, sometimes I will get a line. It's just the way it is. Like there's no way to avoid it. You can use the very best eye primer ever. And sometimes it's just gonna happen. So I will usually choose a colored eyeliner. And not only that, but sometimes I will use a very bold um, colored eyeliner and just put it on a little thicker and then I will go back in and almost tight line with like a black or a brown so that it looks like I've got a bold eyeshadow on um, with a black liner and it just kind of makes it pop. But the stain power of a gel liner works so much easier with my eyelids and that's just what I choose to do. Over the years, I've been very picky. There was only one eye primer that I ever found that I absolutely loved and it was the NYX um, Proof It. It was a waterproofing eyeliner. I can't find that anywhere now. So NYX, I need you to come through for me and I need you to bring back the Proof It eye primer because it was the best ever for my oily hooded eyelids and now it's gone forever. So I can't find it. If, if any of you guys find it, please let me know. Um, now I'm going, I'm all about layering mascaras to get the desired effect. So what I'm doing right now is I'm using ColourPop and it's Level Up Lengthening Mascara in the shade Burgundy. And then I'm going to follow up with the Avon Wash Off Waterproof in black. Um, sometimes I use an eyelash curler. It's a $7 uh, battery powered heated eyelash curler. I do not use a regular eyelash curler on my eyelashes. I stopped doing it like 10 years ago because it was breaking all my eyelashes off. So if I use an eyelash curler at all, it is a $7 one on Amazon that is battery powered and heats up and it works like a charm. Today I'm not doing it because I don't want to spend the time to do it. So I should have done it ahead of time, but you know, whatever planning, I'll do it next time. Um, you asked me, why am I using a colored lengthening mascara underneath another mascara? Well, A, because I wanted to try their colored mascara because I love colored mascaras. B, it's ColourPop and if you are looking for anything with a bright pop of color, they've got it. I have used their eyeshadows. I've used all of their makeup for years and I love it. Um, I've just never tried their mascara until now so I wanted to try a colored one. Now, that being said, I don't care for the color because it doesn't really pop 
Um, but the formula is great. It really is a lengthening formula and it goes on light as you please, almost like a mousse. And it just uh, holds really well underneath another mascara. I have like four or five mascaras and I will layer them because why not? I totally believe in doing it and it's great. So that's what I do. So I'll go in with the other eye. Guys, I'm almost done here. Honestly, it never takes me this long to do my makeup because I have like five minutes in the morning to get it done. So I'm never this careful and I never sit at a table with a mirror. Like I'm literally standing in my bathroom at a mirror that cuts me off about from here down. So I can't see half my face because I'm too short for my bathroom mirror. It's an old house. We haven't changed anything yet. So yeah, I just kind of go with it and just deal with the fact that half my face is cut off in the mirror. But I also have two kids, well, one kid running around, the other kid always needing my attention right now. I don't know what my dog's doing right now. Jackson, come here, please. Get out of the bathroom. He listens about as well as my three-year-old does. So, I go in. I layer my mascara. It doesn't matter what type of mascara I'm wearing. I will always layer two different kinds unless I'm using the, um, oh my gosh. Ugh, what is it called? It's in the teal. It's like a tubing mascara, which if you've not tried tubing mascaras, they're the best ever, the best ever. Um, I absolutely love them, but you guys know which one I'm talking about. It's like thrive. Cosmetics, Thrive Cosmetics, their tubing mascara. So that's the only one I use by itself and I haven't had it in months. So because I can, and because I'm not working today, I will go in and finish with the uh, FMG Glimmer Satin Lipstick in the shade Luna. This is a new shade to me. Well, every shade of lipstick is new because I don't ever wear lipstick. I was very on the edge about this. Um, Originally, I thought it was more of like a brown nude. I'm also not good at putting lipstick on, <laughs> so. Oh, well. Um, but I really do like it. All right. That's it, guys. That is seriously it. One swipe. Great color payoff. It stays on so well. And I do want to say this. Um, I have the shade Whirlwind. It's like a very, very red, like very bright red. Shocked me. Um, if you are wearing a red lipstick, wear a lip primer. This is ColourPop's Lippy Sticks Primer. Um, wear a lip primer because then it won't bleed as much. That being said, if it is wintertime and you have very dry lips, sometimes the key to changing how your lipstick looks is changing the finish of your lipstick. So um, right now I'm not gonna wear the Lippy Sticks primer because it tends to have more of a mattifying effect because a lot of the Lippy Sticks are matte. But if you typically wear a matte lip and it's winter time and your lips are dry and no matter what you're doing, your lips are still dry, switch out. Don't use mattifying lipstick in the winter when your lips are super dry and flaky. Use a satin finish, use a gloss, use something that doesn't enhance the look of dry lips because you can do everything in, in your power and it may not fix your dry lips. Um, so that being said, switch it up. Try not a matte finish in the, in the winter and you might find that you really like it. I love this satin finish lipstick because it's not shiny. I can put a gloss over it if I want but it's also not mattifying. I get super dry flaky lips in the winter because I work outside. Um, so I really like this. It stays on so well. My lips don't feel dried out afterwards. And if you get a darker shade, you can use it kind of like a lip stain. Um, you can just put it on, leave it on for a little while and then blot it off and it acts as a lip stain. So that's my get ready with me. Let me know how I did. Put comments, give me a thumbs up. Let me know how I did because this is my first time. So I hope you guys got something from it. And keep in mind, the Magics line is being remarketed as the Match line. So eventually the only thing that's going to be Magics is the Tinted Moisturizer. Eventually everything's going to be the Match. So just keep that in mind. If you need an Avon rep, look me up. Thanks guys. See ya.